If you go to motion calendar, whether it's Palm Beach, Miami, or, 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 or Broward on any, any day, and let's say there are 20 or 30 things on the docket, maybe two or three of those items will, will, will have court reporters there. And so no one's preserving the record. I mean, even if it's a motion for a continuance and you're entitled to that continuance and you don't have a court reporter there, that could be reversible error. If that case goes to trial and you were entitled to that continuance and didn't get it, guess what? You're going to have a new trial. And so you need to take these, these motions seriously. They should be briefed. There should be something contemporaneous, contemporaneously written in the court file so that in, even in your two minutes when you only can articulate the, the, the top points of of your, of your motion, there is something preserved in, in that record. And I don't know if it's because we're undercompensated, overworked, or lazy. I don't think it's lazy. Uh, we don't usually do that. And, and um, I think that's a big mistake. You know, if you're going to be in this field, if you're going to be in this game, you need to accept your losses and your lumps and to persevere and continue if you think you're right. Now, I'm not encouraging frivolous litigation, and you need to have client control, and you need to tell your client when they're right and when they're wrong and when you think they're right. And then if you think they're, that, that, that there's been some mistake at some level, you need to keep going. And the process allows you to do that. It allows you to appeal the appellate court to the Supreme Court. And that happens, obviously, on occasion. That's why you have Supreme Court. Court, court rulings, but you, you can't give up even if the odds are against you if you think you're right.